everyone and welcome to another one of our Family Friday Art Projects. I'm Autumn, the Education Coordinator here at Studio 23. And if you got to catch Tara's segment, you know that we are um, concentrating on the artwork of Larry Butcher. And um, I created a project based off of one of his pieces. Here's a, here's a picture of it right here, if you can see it. Now, from reading about Larry Butcher and seeing his artwork, I found that he is very inspired by not only symbols, but by um, petroglyphs and um, prehistoric rock drawings. So um, if you're not familiar with um, petroglyphs, there, it's a, a rock art, it's, um, many times it's a symbol that reflects a uh, society of a group or a tribe. Um, many times you'll find, you know, you'll see them around the United States and they'll be um, thousands of years old. Um, I believe the oldest one that I found when I looked up my information was in Indonesia and they believe it is 35,000 years old. So pretty much as long as people have been around, we've been drawing and carving into the walls of rocks and caves. So getting back to Larry, um, his art is influenced by that and he has mentioned before in some of his past articles that he's done um, that he is very influenced by symbols and that. So what I did today was I created a petroglyph style uh, art project, but to tie it a little more to the artwork of Larry Butcher, um, I used a little more layering than you would probably see on a cave wall, and I used more symmetry. And you can see I have my person in the middle, sun, and then I have my animals coming out from that. So um, very much inspired by petroglyphs and still the art of Larry Butcher. So what I needed to make this project is, um, we just have this uh, brown paper, wrapping paper around the studio all the time because it's great to draw on. Um, if you want, you could also use like a brown paper bag that would work just as well. Um, let's see, I used some cardstock so I could create some stencils. There's a couple of stencils and you could just as easily grab cardboard, uh, grab an old, um, like cereal box even, and you can cut your stencils out of that, something you have around the house. Um, you could even use like shapes for stencils, those work great too. Um, you're gonna need a pen to draw out your stencil. You're gonna need scissors to cut out your stencil. And then how I created the actual image is this is chalk pastel and then over top the black in the middle that kind of grounds it all is a black oil pastel, but you could just as easily use just a regular Crayola crayon for that also. Um, if you don't have chalk pastels, you could just try regular chalk, uh, but what you do want to do is you want to try to get more um, earthy tones. These are the colors that I used, if you can see them. It's more of a rusty colored orange red, um, more of an ochre yellow and brown. And the reason why I use these colors is because um, we would have way, way, way back when our ancestors would have used plant material and things of that nature that they would find to use for color. So that's why it most likely wouldn't have been uh, really, really bright colors like bright reds and bright blues. It probably wouldn't even have been white so much. So earth tones, black crayon, <clears throat> pardon me, and some kind of brown paper. And uh, let me get the camera moved and we'll get started. So to start with, I would create your, um, your stencil shapes. 
And you're just gonna take, like I said, some cardboard, or you're gonna take some, um, I, like I said, I used cardstock, and you're just gonna draw an image. Um, an animal works well because animals were often used in petroglyphs and, clay, and cave drawings. But if you look at the stencil that I made, it's very stylized. So don't worry so much about perfection, okay? And you're just gonna go ahead and, and draw it right out on your paper, okay? And then you're gonna cut it right out with your scissors. Now here, this is like um, kind of a horse shape that I did. And here is a goat shape. And if you're really, really worried about it, you can actually find some of these shapes online to print out. It makes it that much easier for you and your student. Okay, so then once you would have the stencils done, you're gonna wanna move on to your paper. The first thing you're gonna wanna do with your paper is crumple it all up. All right, that's, ooh, that's the fun part. I like that. All right. We're crumpling it up because we don't want it to be this nice flat surface. Um, if we were drawing inside of a cave, we definitely wouldn't have a nice flat surface. But then it's also gonna give you nice texture if you look in the example. You'll see that there's some really nice texture going on there. And that's because of the crumpling of the paper. All right, so what I did is I tried to create some symmetry with my animals. So I'm going to try and recreate that, okay? And you're just going to take your stencil and you're going to put it down. And you're going to, I'm going to start with this dark brown, okay? And I'm going to go off the page and down onto the paper, if that makes sense. So I'm going to start on my stencil, but make my way down to my piece of art that I'm creating. And I'm going to rub my chalk on like that. And then from there you can go in and you can rub it in. Okay. And you're going to want to go all the way around with that dark color. And with this part there's a lot of blending so you might want to make sure you have some paper towel around. And I'm going to go in with that dark color all the way around my animal my horse, and then I'm gonna blend it all in. All right, and then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna take my orange kind of rusty color and I'm gonna color in mostly the middle, but it's okay if it blends in with the other color, that's not gonna do anything bad. And then I'm gonna rub that in. And see it's creating those some of these really nice lines and textures and it really just helps uh, recreate the uh, idea of a of a wall or a cave drawing excuse me or a petroglyph and you know if you wanted to even blend in more colors you know like maybe a little more maybe you want to add a little bit of this ochre you could do that too you know even experiment with it nothing wrong with that all right, and then once you have the stencil done, I like to get the extra off of there and see you've got, you've got your, first, your first petroglyph. And then from there, you're just gonna wanna flip it over. And I'm, I'm literally flipping it because I want it to face the other way. All right, and I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna go in around the edges with that brown all the way around my stencil. And, and really the stencil, while it does seem like it takes a little extra time, it, it makes this project so much easier, especially if your student is um, really young. This is, would be very helpful to them. All right, then I'm gonna go in again with my red.
plate. I've got my next cave drawing there. I'm going to move on to my other stencil, which is, um, I think he's like a, maybe a, a mountain goat. And let's see. And I'm going to try and line him up still because I still want to create this idea of symmetry. Um, because even though I am recreating the petroglyphs and the cave drawings, remember I'm still referencing the artwork of Larry Butcher and you can see he has a lot of layering and a lot of uh, symmetry going on in his, um, his piece. So we still wanna make sure we're referencing that too. So same way, I'm gonna go in with my dark color. And then maybe for this one, I'll go, I'll do my uh, yellow ochre in the middle. And then I'll just blend that all out. goats here and then I'm gonna do the same exact thing I'm gonna flip it like I did with my horses and I'm gonna try and line him up at least a little bit let's see all right I think roundabout here is good and again it doesn't have to be perfect um, but that's what's great about the the design of these animals. They're stylized, which means they're not exactly representational, you know. Um, and and that's a it's also a nice way for kids to get creative because they know they don't have to make it look realistic. Uh, it just makes it a really fun project. So I'm gonna do my dark. And then go in with my yellow ochre. All right. I got that one done. All right. So you can see how quickly that went for me. So this is a nice quick project. Now, if you look on the original here, you can see that I made my person really large. And um, especially in relation to the animals, we know people aren't this big compared to animals, you know, or sun in the sky. Um, but I used a little bit of hieratic scale, which really just means I'm making the things that I think are important the biggest. So to me, you know, in, in this piece that I'm saying, animals are important, uh, but people, we're really important. And so that's why we have the person being this big. So that's a nice little um, art term to, to teach your kids. And, um, and who knows, maybe they'll make the animals way bigger and the people teeny tiny because they think the animals are more important. But anyways, that's a great little um, art tip for them. All right, so for the people, the person, we're gonna take our crayon or our black um, oil pastel and we're just gonna go in and um, again, these are very stylized people so they don't have to look realistic at all. And many times if you look at cave drawings, um, the, the limbs were very exaggerated, like their legs were very long and um, so that's gonna be okay. If, if they're if they're doing something like that that's great so we got our person all right let's see We got our 
person and maybe I'll do a little sun right here. A sun would be a great time to use something that you trace or you can just draw it out, whatever. And if you wanted to, if you are using an oil pastel, you could go in and blend in the oil pastel as well. It just it adds a nice little look. So anyways, this is our finished product. This is our uh, petroglyph drawing inspired by the artwork of artist Larry Butcher. Um, I hope you give it a try. And if you do, please use the hashtag Studio23 on the go or make art virtual so we can see your awesome artwork. And that is all for me today. Up next is Val, and I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Bye.